hello everybody welcome back it is monday the 15th of january and as you can see i am on the south promenade and it is freezing flipping cold and it is super duper windy i'm just going to pan the camera all the way around because i've got my back to the wind and as i turn around you guys will realize just how windy it is from the wind noise so let's go around Go. We're going to look down Waterloo Road there, you see the Dutton Arms, and here we're going into the wind. Oh, well that wasn't pleasant. Right, let's just have a little quick look on the beach. We can't go on the beach because chains are up because the sea's coming in but we can have a nice look as the sea does come in there we go we can see south here there it's going to be an angry old tide when that gets in for sure but i won't be here to film it because i'll be off to work i've just come to do a bit of shopping and get some cat food and i thought i would just nip on to the prom and bring you guys a quick video i was going to walk in the other direction away from the sun but the wind is at the point where i'm just like it's too much so yeah it's middle of January Christmas and the holiday period and all the January sales and everything is completely over and we've just got a month of month or two of freezing cold and dark mornings to get through before spring keeps its hopeful head over the horizon I'm definitely not digging these dark mornings Ugh, and, in a, and in a few months, couple of months we've got the flipping clocks moving forward that's not going to be fun but anywho today at least it's bright and it's not raining and hopefully the wind noise won't be that bad for you folks because I've got my back to the wind. There you've got Queen's Hotel promenade there, big old hotel there, and the Viking Hotel there. And we're just walking towards the Pleasure Beach and South Pier now, but I am going to head off the prom in a bit. And we'll just have a chat and a talk as I walk down station road maybe yeah that's a good road to go down i think i'll look down there i meant to do filming today but the, yesterday i should say but the problem is it's too dark to film in the mornings on the way to work and then i'm too tired to film on the way home i was going to film on the way home but I worked with my daughter on Sunday and she wanted to go into town and she had a few things to do so I went into town with her and we did a few things and by that time I was just done we did however go into Bob and Bert's and get an all-day breakfast so that was absolutely delicious and nice and tasty so yeah that was my yesterday I went to work and then I went into town with my daughter, we went to Bob and Bert's and then I came home and by that time I was just completely done, I was cream cracked so I just had a nice rest and I'm still a bit of a tired side today but I'm tired all the time just lately, I think it's the weather this traffic's bloody annoying it's like there's not a big enough gap to walk through but there's big enough gaps to make me think I could walk through there Go to the 
the middle or after this car or after this car. Go, 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 there we go. Easy peasy, them squeezy. I think actually we're going to go down Dean Street into the station road. That's a bit of an interesting road to go down, isn't it? I haven't been down here for a while because I'm usually more central. We are just going to nip down Dean Street. Got this nice building, hotel, guest house, rooms for rent to let. I'm not sure what we'd call it, but it looks nice. There's a lot of letterboxes on the door, so there's a lot of people living there. Next to that, you've got the Seagull's Nest Cafe. That looks lovely, you know. We're going to have to go in there at some point. So here we are, we've got this cute little street with some nice little hotels and guest houses down here. As usual, I'm not going to mention them all because I'll probably end up missing some out, but there are a few nice places. That is, I think, Montague Street, I'm not sure, let me just check. There should be a sign behind this van. Sir? I'm just going to check now on the name of the street. Oh, I was right, it was Montague Street. There you go. Some work going on there in that little close up cafe on the corner. And some nice hotels down here. Look at this. I mean, somewhere like this would be a cool place to stay if you want to be close to the Pleasure Beach and close to Central Pier in town because you're in a great area. So yeah, Dean Street. Check that out if you're coming on holiday to Blackpool and you want to be near the Pleasure and near Central Pier. At least it's not as windy now away from the prom. It's still cold though. I've got my gloves on, my leggings on, my scarf on, my hat on. I'm fully layered up but I can still feel the cold kind of biting through. I think we'll turn down Bond Street. We could go all the way down Dean Street to Lytham Road but let's turn down Bond Street. probably going to be walking into the wind now I've just realised but never mind let's do it we're more or less at the end of the video anyway I think we'll finish this video on the corner of Bond Street and Waterloo Road where the old parts building is that most of us will probably remember as Woolworths or the market I often wonder about this building, it's apparently listed so they can't just knock it down but I think it's got to come down eventually because I can't see it being refurbished, I really can't but then again I don't know anything about you know buildings or safe or unsafe structures. To my untrained eye it looks knackered and unsafe but who knows maybe it could be fixed. A little building there with stuff holding outside and a pile of breeze blocks. Music shop, trim it outlet, remnants, fabrics, materials. I do love fabric shops. My favourite fabric shop was always Black's. I love going into there in town, just on the corner of Dean Street and Edward Street. Got a big gap here. You've got Bully Special Prize there in the background. And now we're just going to head on now to the corner. It's quiet today down here, isn't it? It is super duper quiet. The street we're passing now is Rawcliffe Street. 
that's one I think I don't have on streets of Blackpool I think that's one of the ones I kept meaning to get to but I never did little collectible place there a sign there that says winter is coming it faster winter is well and truly here folks but I do appreciate knitting and crocheting and stuff wool and haberdashery I'm glad to go in there I do like yarn and wool and crochet hooks and knitting needles I've got like three bin bags of wool at home by the way and I keep buying little bits and I'm doing bits and bobs of crocheting but I'm not doing enough crocheting to actually use all the wool I've got I mean I'll get through it all eventually I suppose but well, anywho we're just heading to the corner now it's the corner of Waterloo Road and Bond Street and Bolton Street so I'm going to bid you guys goodbye and I'm going to say thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video I've had, been having a few days off a few days rest of YouTube but I am just happy to be trying to get back into some kind of filming schedule but yeah as usual if you like the video just tap a topper on that like button before you go and maybe even subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I shall see you all very soon in the next one goodbye <laughs>